Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Brotato. We are jumping in again for the new uh, Abyss Depths DLC and we are going to jump in as the gangster this time. Another new character. This guy can steal shop items but we can't lock items into the shop. Uh, stealing an item from the shop can spawn an elite as well. So kind of interesting. We're going to go with the SMG and Danger Level 2 once again. I think Danger Level 2 is just the most fun for me. Um, and yeah, we're going to see what we can do here. Um, what's going on with my audio? Options. Okay, no, it's all fine. It just the SMG sounded really quiet for some reason. But it's working. Get that tree. Level up off the start. So yeah, we do have 20% increased prices for the shops as well, which is going to make things a little bit harder. But the ability to steal... Basically, my, my plan here is to go as hard as I possibly can into luck. Because I think if we can go... Okay, so... Oh, uh, there we go. So 0.2% chance of an elite. So we can actually steal stuff reasonably easily here. Like, I didn't realize how low the chance is. So if I steal that, and I'll, I'll take that as well. Um, Yeah, so kind of interesting. I, I thought stealing stuff would be a bit more, like, risky. But I guess that's only for higher stuff. But I think if I get as much luck as I possibly can, that increases our chances of high-tier items, which makes stealing more valuable, right? So that's kind of my thinking right now. Um, So I, I really want to play as heavily as I can into luck. Um, but getting some range damage for an SMG here is pretty good. It's a good way to start. And we got plus three maximum HP there as well. Um, I'm going to take some more maximum HP off the bat here. Um, I will take that and that. Roll again. So we obviously we can't lock stuff in, which is a bit tricky. But we can keep rolling to see what we can get. Um, like, I can steal this, right? Yeah. So... The, the, the thing that I'm curious about is that chance for an elite, does that stack up? So, like, I've got, like, 0.2% chance for an elite and then another 0.2% chance. Does that mean now next wave has a 0.4 chance, or is that per, per item you steal, you get that amount of chance flat? I'm not exactly sure. Like, is it only per wave, or does it stack up between waves collectively? Not entirely sure, but I guess we'll figure out. Good thing is elites aren't that bad as long as we have the defense to stand up to them. Because they can give us good items. I'm pretty sure they, they drop uh, item crates when we kill them. So, in that sense, they're pretty good. Unfortunately, we've not really seen any luck yet, which I'm a little sad about. I was hoping we'd see a bit of luck here and there. That 10% attack speed. I'll grab that. Grab that. Okay. So far, not too bad. I mean, we're killing stuff pretty quick as well here, which is good. Decent amount of max HP going. But yeah, really hoping we can get as much luck as we can. There is some really good items that can give you some crazy amounts of luck out there. Um, but think about luck. We've got to be lucky enough to get luck. It's kind of like the rich get ri richer sort of thing. Once we start getting a lot of luck, it will kind of keep going from there. Let's get some bonus curse here on one curse now from that guy. Try and kill this guy as well before wave is over. Want to try and get our curse up because we know that can be good. At the minute, I guess no luck. We'll just keep taking what we can. Uh, that's pretty good. Take that as well. Um, ooh, a cursed stick. Interesting. So a 5% chance here with a blue item. Let's let's steal that. So can I only steal one thing per um, per wave? I think, I, th I think I can, can't I? I think that's what it said. So we gave ourselves a 5% chance for an elite there. But yeah, I'm not sure if that's a 5% chance this wave or a 5% chance that one will spawn soon on any wave. I guess we'll just figure it out. Oh, god damn, that, that uh, cursed enemy there took a beating. My god. You can see how much damage we're doing right now, though, with the weapons we've got. Like, we're not really having to worry too much yet. We could even merge some of the weapons we have, actually, two of the SMGs and make one blue. Would be good. But also, at the minute, we've got enough maximum HP to be tanking a few hits and not really worrying too much. So we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. We're earning a decent amount as well. Why, where's the luck at? There it is. Give me some luck. I'll go with some crit chance as well. Bit of a bit of a saucy one, but I'm going to take that. Um, we'll roll. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'll steal. Why not? And then let's... um. Let's combine all of these and get a bunch of blue weapons. I think the blue weapons will be better to have. We do have to be aware we are on 1 HP starting this wave. I took the ghost. Bit of a tricky item, to be honest. Um, that's when you don't have any health regen. 
to we need to be very very cautious at the moment especially of bullets but we should hopefully in due time find a few trees and get a bit of fruit and stuff there you go we got fruit there one fruit isn't going to save us, but if we get a few of them, then we should be okay. There's a free look. Oh, that gave us a chest as well, which the chests do actually heal you, which is nice. They count as fruit as well. Good, good. Oh my god. Beautiful. We're back up to safety levels now. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to pass on that. I'm going to take the range, actually. The range is not too bad. We'll take that. Revolver? Yeah, why not? We'll go for a revolver. And then, yeah, I'm not bothered about stealing that, thank you. Realistically, I should probably be stealing one thing every way, but I don't need to. <clears throat> Having three weapons now that are all blue puts our damage in a good spot. Our health is actually in a really good spot as well. Oh, goddamn, those cursed enemies are going to be crazy. Can you get a cursed elite? I've not seen that yet, but that'd be interesting to see, because that would be a... A very difficult boss. I'm pretty sure um, stealing as well increases the damage. Oh, oh no, I think it's killing an elite increases the health and damage of the next elite that spawns. But that's a little bit tricky with this guy as well. The more elites we see, the harder they get. It'd be nice to get the silver bullets that increase our damage to bosses by 25%. I think that does work on elites as well. That would be uh, something that we'd be looking for to offset that a little bit. We'll keep getting these, but I'm going to keep taking them. There's some more luck. Lovely. Um, honestly, a lot of good stuff here, so I'm going to take all of these. 9% chance for an elite. Please don't give me an elite on this wave, because I'm very low on health right now. I'm just trying to take as much maximum HP early as I can. I, I tend to neglect it a little bit, and it causes me some problems. We definitely need some way of uh, getting our health back up a little bit more, though. Getting some health regen going or something few items like that would uh, would go a long way right now. Because only having fruit to heal you is uh, not the way to go. But yeah, I'm not seeing any tally of like total amount ch of chance to spawn the elites. I think we'll be okay. But I reckon if we steal a red item, it's going to be like 40 or 50% for an elite on the next wave. So, and that's where it's going to come into play more often. When we start stealing like purple and red items. I don't know if it's just the item quality that determines what the chances are, or if there's other factors on top of that. Ooh, good stuff. Attack speed, I'll take that. Take that. Plus one elemental dam damage every time you get an item that increases elemental damage. That's kind of interesting. It's not super good for us right now, but interesting nonetheless. So, so that's a 27% chance. I will try stealing that, though. Um, take that. We can't lock stuff in. So, that's a pretty high chance. 27% chance for an elite. Yeah, we, we, did, we did end up getting an elite. Oh, no. That wasn't elite? I thought that was. Okay. Fair enough. That's just a big enemy. We're fine. We're all good. So, it doesn't seem to be stacking, at least so far, from what I can tell. I think we would have had an elite by now if it was stacking. We should be on, like, 40% for an elite by now, I think. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't, though. You'd think it'd, like... Keep stacking until it spawns an elite and then reset sort of thing. Ooh, that attack speed is going a long way right now. I'm liking that. That's helped a bunch. We're on six curse so far. I've seen quite a lot of cursed enemies considering. Because I'm pretty sure we only have like a yeah 5% chance, which is pretty low. I suppose you do get quite a lot of enemies per wave though, so it doesn't make sense. We're getting extra materials from them as well, which is very helpful considering we have a slightly increased shop price. We have offset that a little bit with the coupon, though, which is really good to see. If we can get a few more coupons, that would be very good, too. 12% damage, I'll take it. 10% attack speed, I'll take that, too. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's that's the look we're looking for right there. We do have minus one HP regen, though, so... <laughs> not ideal. A wand. I'm going to keep re-rolling and try and get something that I want to deal <clears throat> Your structures can crit. Ooh. This is tricky because I kind of want to steal that, but I think I'm going to just steal the SMG and have at that. That's that's interesting, though. We're not going for structures right now, but 
I, there, there seems to be a lot more items. I don't know if it's just the DLC or just because I haven't played in a while. There seems to be a lot more items that you can get through um, that, like, give bonuses to structures nowadays. And I like that because I think the idea of playing with turrets is kind of a fun one. Playing with the engineering stat can be uh, pretty interesting. But maybe in the next video, if you guys keep enjoying this, then we'll do that. And I say the, the Protator video did really strange the last one. It got like 100 views, which is really low for my channel, and all of a sudden bumped up to like a thousand, so. Not quite sure what happened there, but if that's going to keep happening, I'm going to keep playing it. I mean, at the minute, I'm just playing it because I'm enjoying it. I'm not really that worried about the views. Um, but th that if that keeps happening, I'll be pretty happy too. So thank you all for joining if you're new to the channel. And you can expect to see more of this game if you continue to come back. Especially if you subscribe. I don't ask for subs very often, but if you are new, it would be cool. It would be pretty cool. To 400. Nice one. Okay. Recycle that. <clears throat> Great chance there's good. I'm going to take that pistol. That's very good. Feel fair. 10% structure attack speed. Good stuff. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Minus two crit isn't that bad. Grenade launcher. A cursed one as well. Um, do you know what? I'm going to recycle that and um, deal that. It's cursed as well, so it'll do a bit more damage. And it adds curse on, which is good. Grab that. Oh, really? Right after I just stole this one? How dare you? Okay. But yeah, having an explosive weapon for a bit of AoE damage, not a bad thing. There's also a few items out there that increase explosive radius and damage, so it means that if we come across those items, we can actually buy them and not have them waste a slot sort of thing. They'll actually be useful for something. But yeah, you can clearly tell that this, uh, this set of weapons is doing us good. Still need something a bit more defensive on regaining health, because at the minute... We're basically just relying on not getting hit, which can work, but not forever. So far, we haven't seen an elite yet, though, which is helpful. Yeah, we just took 14 damage there. It's a lot of damage to be taking. Another item there's nice. Another item there's really nice, okay. This is another thing where the, uh, the luck comes into play. You get more uh, fruit drops and therefore potential more item drops. Take that. Yeah, I think I'll take that too. I'm gonna roll for some luck here, I think. Okay, now nah, I'll take the crit chance. Um, I'll take that. Ooh, very good, very good. Okay, so we'll take that. We'll roll. There you go. Okay, so lots and lots of good stuff here. Duplicates the next item you get from the shop. Hold up. So if I, if I buy this, that could be really good though. 2% attack speed for every bit of dodge I have. See, obviously that's like the top tier item, but I'm thinking if we buy this, then steal this, do I get two of them? Because that's not that useful for us right now. I'm going to try that. I'm going to buy this and then steal this. And then do I get two wisdoms? Duplicates the next item you get from the shop. Maybe it's only purchases, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, wait. Hmm. Either way, this is a good item to get. Very good. There, there's an elite look. There's an elite. Oh, there's two elites. I did not expect that. I thought it would only be the one, so we're in a bit of a bad spot here because remember, we do not have great ways to heal. So if we get hit by this elite a lot, we are going to die pretty fast. The good thing is we've managed to take one of them out already. And there's actually a lot of fruit about, which is helpful. Okay, that elite gave us a red item as well. Oh, we got two red items. Okay, this is actually not bad at all. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm a little annoyed that mirror play didn't work, but I guess it's something that I have to buy. I can't steal it for it to work, which is interesting, but it is going to make uh, my next roll kind of difficult. Unless unless it works with these red items that I'm about to get, then that would be 
very nice, but I don't think it will. I think it has to be from the shop, the mirror to activate. Well, the mirror's a really cool idea for an item. 3% uh, 3 max HP at the end of a wave. Oh my god, that's amazing. Minus one armor at the end of a wave. That sounds kind of terrible, right? I'm gonna recycle that. Okay, so it says times two here, I see. Okay. So that's not bad. Go for um Plus 6% damage at the end of every wave. What wave are we on right now? 12. It's a little late into the game to go for that. But you know what? I think I'm going to go for it anyways. Keep rolling here. Buy that and I'll steal that. So, interesting to see that I can get two elites on one wave. That's a bit scary. But it's also good to know they spawn instantly, so I'll know straight away if I've got an elite. But yeah, a little sad that mirror play didn't quite pay off. But still, the amount of damage we're getting um, here, like, we're at 43% right now. Let's wait a little bit. Still on 43. Now it's a 51, yeah. Okay, so that's scaling pretty nicely. And... That leaf item we got is going to give us max HP, regen, and lifesteal at the end of every wave. Which, it's not a lot of it, but it's pretty good. I'm definitely looking towards more weaponry now, though. I could really use some new weaponry. Uh, well, not new weaponry as such, but leveling up our weaponry to higher tiers would be ideal. I need to be looking out for those. I probably missed a few opportunities here and there. chest. And more luck would obviously go a long way too. Attack speed once again. <clears throat> um, take that. Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? Ooh, we've seen this before. We know it's very good. So we did get an elite this time. An elite that I'm not too familiar with. There does seem to be a lot of new elites. Oh god. Damn. Okay. We need to be very careful here because I have taken some bad damage already. Let's say I need fruit to spawn so that I can heal up so I can get back in there and fight this guy. Okay, got another elite item there. I love the fact this guy gets elite items out of killing these mini-bosses. That's very, very nice. I think what happened on that wave, you know, where we got two elites, is that wave 12 is just the elite wave, and then I spawned an extra one. So I don't think it's that I can spawn two in one wave via stealing. I think it's that I accidentally spawned one on the wave that already had an elite. Which is, yeah, scary. <laughs> Ten percent life steal, two percent damage for every one life steal. You take one damage per second. Ooh, I'm gonna take that. I think that's okay for us right now. Um, what's our crit chance at? Yeah, we can keep going with that crit chance. That's very nice. Um, we're all in here. That really need better weaponry. These are all melee weapons that aren't really doing it for me right now. That's good. So many melee weapons. Game, what the hell? Ooh, hello. I'm gonna take that. Yeah. Right, elite. I'm very scared of the elites, to be honest. Especially these newer ones that I just don't recognize. That scares me. But they don't seem crazy tough yet. Like, as in, this guy's moving fast, but he's got low HP. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And we get a red item out of that, too. Like, what's better than that? 
I'm liking this character a lot. Not being able to lock items in is something I thought would be a real, like, difficulty on this character, but it's not proving to be that bad. Really not. What's our attack speed at now? 88%. I could feel that it was pretty high. Okay. Right, see what our legendary item ends up being. Unfortunately, a lot of the legendaries are conditional, so not all of them are going to be good. I mean, that one's fine. Reach minus five health regen. Funny. Um. Oh, that's pretty good. We'll take that. SMG, we can take that and rank one up. Good, good. We've been waiting for that. Here we go. Right. <clears throat> we probably want to just go for that, right? 12 max HP, 25 luck. Yeah, we'll just steal that. And this gives us an another elite. Or should at least. Ooh, another elite I don't recognize. So many new elites. I'm really glad to see it, though. Variety is the spice of life. Roguelikes like this need a lot of variety to keep it going. And honestly, one of my biggest hang-ups with this game has always been enemy variety is fairly low. But with the new DLC adding a whole new batch of enemies plus new elites and bosses, goes a long way. Yeah, so this character's kind of nuts. As long as you have the power to withstand the elites, it's actually worth it to spawn them. And right now, we very much do have the power, although I, I am definitely having a feeling that the boss is going to be pretty tricky. Especially if you end up spawning an elite that wave, which you know I will. What curse are we on now? 34. Still pretty light. I do like the idea, though, that some characters will want to avoid gaining curse, so those enemies you want to, like, not kill on purpose. Kind of interesting. Ooh, nice. Take that. There's some more luck, lovely. Now that, that's a weapon that I like to see. A Gatling laser. I think I'll have that, thank you. Um, I'll increase pistol level. Go one of them. Damn. I would have loved that. So Gatling Laser I'm pretty interested in. I think the damage from this should be pretty apparent. I mean, it's very apparent. It's very, very apparent. Wow. Yeah, that is the fastest I've ever killed an elite, and I got an achievement for doing so. Clearly very, very good. Okay. So yeah, at the minute it's kind of got enough luck to get red items in the shop steal said red item that we can't afford anyways, then get another red item from killing the elite that spawns because we stole it. It's a pretty good back and forth, I've got to say. And we've also got a very, very good setup for healing now. Killing enemies is a chance to heal us. <clears throat> we've got a few other things that heal us as well now, haven't we, I think? Honestly don't remember, but we've got, we've got a decent setup for healing either way. <clears throat> That's more luck, I'll take it. Yes, I'll take that. Ooh, range damage, yes please. 5% attack speed, 1% attack speed every second. Ooh. Yes. What armor we got right now? Armor's 10. I will take that. Chainsaw. I don't know why I took the trees die in one hit. I always just take that because it's just good to have early on, but it's like way too late for it to be important. Now they just die in one hit basically anyways. Still. So far, I'm, I'm hopeful for this run. I'm hopeful for this run. Character's cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a... I don't know if I'll do a new character next video, but I think I want to do a turret-based run. I want to try and do something engineering based because there's just there's just so much new stuff to enable runs like that now. Whereas before in the vanilla game when it first came out, there was barely anything. There was just some engineering upgrades and that's about it. Whereas there's these ones where killing trees increases the amount of uh, like it gives you a turret, 
like increased turret attack speed, they can crit now, they deal more damage, there's all these crazy things you can get that, that, that stack up to make turrets into kind of powerhouses, even at lower levels. Like it. Not got a lot of rads out of that level. Oh, not really rads are they in this game, but you know what I mean. I'll take that HP region and get it up to three. Wow. That. G level three, baby. God, look at the speed at which we kill elites now. My goodness. So fast. And the defense is going crazy. <clears throat> Beautiful stuff. Especially start playing on the higher difficulties, maybe, as well. I've just been doing uh, difficulty 2 just because that's like the, the sort of standard for getting back into the game. But, I don't know. Things are going really well for us these last two runs. I think we're about ready. And I do have it in endless mode again as well, so we can take it a little further than the, the main boss and see just how far we can carry this. I think next is going to have to be um, our defense. Our, our offense is really, really good right now. We have to focus on defense next, getting our armor back up and stuff. Because we're at like 200% damage by the end of the wave. Pretty nuts. That's really good. That's good too. I guess I'll take some maximum HP. Damage. A lot more crit. That. Black flag. Two materials we kill a cast. Ooh, that seems good. <clears throat> Realistically, I should steal this. But I'm not going to do this and try and find something better to steal. Mirror. Yes. Minus 18% item price. Ooh, that's pretty good. Is that because it's cursed? <clears throat> Our next thing will be mirrored. Okay, this is double elite again here. There you go, there. What's that crit chance at right now? 67. Wow. Clearly contributing. Oh, this is the... This, that was the actual boss boss. One of those was, at least. I'm not quite sure which one. But this black flag should give us a lot of materials. We're killing a lot of curse enemies. We're up to 72 on curse now. And that just keeps growing, so... Yeah, we're clearly getting a lot more materials now. That's a big bonus to our income. I like it. We probably need to swap out our grenade launcher at some point, because that's only blue. We've probably seen a blue grenade launcher, and I've just not bought it, because I'm stupid. Now that I think about it, I'm almost certain we have. But I'll probably swap that out for something different anyways. Yeah, look at that. Up to 800 materials already. <clears throat> Plus two materials when you kill. That's, that's really good. That stacks up so fast. It got to over a thousand this way. It's our first time getting a thousand in one way. I think our highest before was about 550. Almost doubling our income, or maybe even more than doubling our income. Beautiful. We have 20 done. Hey, that's another one of theirs. That's great. Burning deals additional 10%. Ooh, that's actually really good. Not that we need it right now because we don't have any burning, but generally really good. Look. So this is our this is our double. So there's that look, what I was just asking for. That's upgraded now. Okay, so it's, it tells me which one specifically will get mirrored. 10% damage, knockback. Ooh, that's pretty good. That would be mirrored. I'm not that interested in that. That's good to have. Your highest range in HP and lowest HP regen are swapped. So range 202. Oh my god, that'd lower my range so much, but I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's a good one to get.
Looking for something nice to steal. What's our... Uh, armor's only at six. I don't think it's worth it to take that. There you go. Let's steal, let's steal that there. Cool. We still got our mirror intact for a minute. Holy shit. What did I do? What did I do? This is so many elites. I, I Honestly, I don't know what I did to cause this, but it's mental. Okay, they did. They, they, those ones did not give their legendary item crates this time, which is probably fair enough. <laughs> We have insane HP regen right now. We do have very low range, though, which isn't really that big of an issue, to be honest. <clears throat> range stat doesn't mean that much. In fact, range is probably good to build just in case you find the Axolotl item. Because we are very defensive right now. Beautiful. I'm gonna take it. Yep. Cycle, cycle. There's some movement speed, why not? A lot more tree spawn. I like that. I like that too. Ooh. No, that's terrible, right? I'm pretty sure I restore more than 5 HP. Yeah, I restore 18 HP per second. Why? Why would I want you? Bit of piercing's never bad. Wait, that does more damage. HP regen is doubled. Oh my god. I want to steal that just for an elite, to be honest. Okay. HP regen is doubled. Are you are you kidding me? Look at my HP when I take damage. Look how fast it goes. It's probably a good idea they don't give that legendary chests after round 20. That would get real nuts real fast. We are clearing these waves at great speed right now. And we are on 87 curse, baby. I'm looking to make that number even higher. What, what chance is we at now, then? 31% chance and a 10% chance of uh, an item being cursed, which is pretty good. Crit chances are sitting at 67 still. Good, good. I want to see my HP region go to 400 in the stats. By the time I open the menu, I'll have healed past 50% HP and it'll be gone. What's our luck sitting at, actually? 148. That's not amazing, but considering we've been focusing on it. It's good, but not crazy. Bridge damage there is very good. Um, yeah, I'll steal that. Scythe. <clears throat> Interesting. I've never used the scythe before. I'm going to give that a go. The cursed scythe as well. Ah, oh, I should have waited. That's a good. That's a good thing there. Can't even lock it in. So now I take two. So I take two damage. But I'm pretty sure if I look at my scythe. 7% damage. So my damage is at 233 now. Let's see how high it is at the end of the wave. If I survive. Should. I'm already at... My god. Beautiful stuff this is. Even though I'm not hitting anything with a scythe, it's 
Goddamn amazing. You're doing crazy damage. We're nearing the end of the wave. Dude. We... This is an absurd amount of damage gain. We need more sides. <laughs> From 211 up to like, what was that, like 700% or something crazy? That is fine, I think. Yeah. I'm keeping all these weapons, so that's cool. Oh, we're stuck with these weapons now, though. Maybe not the best idea, because now I can't get like a new scythe or anything. Yeah, that was not not the best idea, was it? Oh well. We live and we learn. <laughs> Minus... <laughs> fucking hell. Minus 72 speed, lovely. So if I, if I get this, will it upgrade that? No, I can't get that. Okay, fair. I, I thought that'd be the case. Beautiful. Dead. I actually can't believe how quick that damage stacks up. It's mental. <laughs> And we're only getting more and more pair wave. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about coughing here. The highest, the highest hit I've seen so far is like 1,500. So I think that was a 2,000 hit there, but it might have just been two numbers stacked. That was 6,144. What the hell? 2,000 there. This is meant. Look at the amount of items we've gained this this stage. That, take that, that. Look, I think is better for us right now. More trees spawn. Yes, please. Crit chance, thank you. Some armor. Hmm. Free shop reroll, always good. Hello, hello. Yes, please. Okay. Wave 25. Oh, we've reached 50% movement speed, have we? Okay, didn't know that. Good. The only thing about the elites is they spawn at the start of the wave, and of course, our crazy, crazy amount of damage comes in at the end of the wave. I mean, we're still doing good damage at the start, but imagine how fast they die at the end. That would be something silly. See, I'd say we're getting a lot of trees now, but I don't ever see them. By the time I walk over, there's a fruit on the floor, and there's some, there's some materials. I don't actually know if that was a tree or not. There's no real way of knowing. Everything just vanishes from off screen. Oh, I did see that tree. Very briefly. I really appreciate a game like this that you can play with only one hand. Nice. You just have to use your uh, mouse on the shops every now and again, but you can actually play the game with just the keyboard. More range, I guess. Might getting what I want here. A lot of free rerolls though. Another one of them. Lovely. Take that. Take that. Ooh. Another elite. Another few elites.
I'm gonna stay away from him for a little bit. Wait until my damage builds and then just come in for the kill. I, want, I just want to see how quickly I can kill him from nearly full health. I'm not going to be quite full, but nearly full health. I think it's two of the same elite on us. Not, not, not quite the same. The 584. Right, it's go time. There you go. <laughs> My god. I love the, just the, the plus one heal, plus one heal, plus one heal that you're just constantly seeing all the time. To 763. Dude, this scythe is mental. Gaining damage when you take damage is uh, something pretty, pretty special. Seems pretty good. More luck, please. More attack speed, I guess. Even more tree spawns. Beautiful. Plus one cares when you level up. Cool. Well, that's good too. Just for the damage that we, the extra damage that we take, to be honest. Um. Minus 15% attack speed. Our attack speed is currently, yeah, I think that's worth it. I think we'll gain damage out of that. So yeah, now, now we take three damage. Oh, dude. The, I always forget, once you get to this wave, the elites do an insane amount of damage per hit. Like, we can kill them fairly fast. The amount of damage they deal to us is pretty insane. You can't really just be willy-nilly taking damage from them anymore. But yeah, the, the, the 40 harvesting isn't really what I care about. The one damage every second adds on to the one damage every second we're taking from the scythe. And the one damage every second we're taking from something else as well. Which should mean even more scythe procs. Which should mean even more damage. And we've got the HP regen to offset it, so. Let's see what, what, what damage we're at by the end of this wave. Can we break a thousand percent? Eight fifty three. Not quite a thousand. Eight sixty seven. Eight seventy four. We got up to eight seventy four. Pretty good. More luck, please. More knockback. More trees. Plus two luck. Oh, that's pretty nice. I'll take that. I need something that's going to give me, like, a ton of armor. I just want to see how quickly, yeah. I, just, I always put myself at, uh, like, zero HP just to see how quickly I get back up to full. Pretty quick. But yeah, armor is my big issue right now. I could really do to, to bump my armor up to, like, 15 or so. Because it's at 5 right now. So let's, uh, let's keep an eye out for armor upgrades. We got to wave 30 last time, but didn't beat it. So, I, I'm, I'm honestly thinking we're probably going to die at 30 again, just to, due to my lack of armor. But we'll see. We could get lucky. Could get a bunch of shop items to give us armor. Right after this, for the boss. Ooh, 20,000 steps. Wow. That's very, very nice. Take that. Good. Armor. Armor, armor, armor. Didn't really get the armor I wanted. 
I'm you, Gib. We'll steal that, though. The shark guy could be really bad for me. He moves fast. And you can see that now, obviously, we're still killing them fast, but the, the damage amount that we're doing is uh, gone down significantly from where it was. Yeah, there you go. Unfortunately, the armor is what let us down there, but that was a really fun run. Let's just have a little see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Is that 14 red items? Damn, that's more than I've ever had before. Either way, um, good stuff. I think we unlocked all of these guys. Wow. Um, I've got a lot to unlock. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.